So a little bit overview of uh, some of the goals that I've already mentioned. Uh, so uh, the phase two improvements to the assignment settings page. In this sprint, uh, we've managed to introduce a new option for uh, granting attempts uh, that uh, ultimate would, ultimately would allow students to receive additional attempts automatically without any preconditions uh, until the maximum number of allowed attempts is reached, uh, if uh, configured, of course. Uh, so the addition of this feature was identified during our review and uh, it addresses a common use case where multiple submissions are permitted to continuously provide feedback and improve beyond just passing or just having uh, teachers to manually uh, enable those attempts. Uh, next slide, please. And also, uh, one of our discovery goals this spring, as I mentioned, was to improve how the presentation of the submission is feedback uh, is presented on the uh, assignment submissions page. Uh, so currently, uh, the presentation of the of this information is uh, less than optimal. Uh, currently, each uh, submission type and feedback type information is added as a separate column in the submissions table uh, which uh, also provides only a summarized version of the submission or the feedback which is not very useful to teachers uh, and they have to uh, most of the times navigate to a separate page to read the full version um, of the feedback or view the submissions and then navigate back uh, to, for example in grade or do uh, different sort of actions and also in addition to that uh, adding uh, these columns uh, also uh, lead to excessive horizontal scrolling on this page. Uh, so our solution uh, suggests implementing a model which will be triggered uh, through an option which is uh, placed in a contextual menu. Uh, for, for both cases, uh, it will be handled identically for submissions and uh, feedback. Uh, so once you've uh, opened up this model, um, the, the information will be organized uh, within tab structures and categorized by the types. Um, so uh, on the screenshot, you can you could uh, you can see an example of how the submission representation would look like. So you, uh, teachers could see a full uh, and comprehensive version uh, of the submission, so they don't need to navigate uh, to a separate page. They can uh, review the submission and then they can uh, grade uh, within the same page.